All right, Dean Boy, are you ready? I guess so. Hold on. You guys are probably confused. What is my friend Dean Boy ready for? Did we really meet up in real life? And is that a cup of tea? To answer these questions, we need to go back into time to work our way back to the present time. Now, let's get started. After meeting most of the film friends at Film Academy in 2020, we would film videos and skits together. It was after the filming of this video that I made the comment, coffee is just dirt. Dean Boy disagreed. Thus started our three years of teasing each other towards our preferred drinks. Then one day I suggested that we do a tea versus coffee event. The winner will make the loser drink their preferred beverage. And we would see that'll happen since we had planned to meet up in real life in Canada along with other friends. March 11, 2023 held the tea versus coffee competition streamed live on my YouTube channel. This is how it went. You're so short. No, literally, like I'm literally a foot taller than you. And I'm saying, you need to stand on a chair so that we're even with the camera. But by, by the way, we're live there. They can see all this now. Hi. You see what I have to put up with? Yeah. Before we see what happened during the stream, I gotta tell you that this video is sponsored by Kiwi Design. And they would like me to tell you about a couple of the products for the Quest 2. The clip-on headphones and the audio head strap. If that's something you'd be interested in hearing about, then stick around till the end of the stream, for I would be comparing the product so you can decide which one would be best for you. Now, back to the video. At the start of the stream, Dean Boy and I both made a community post on our own YouTube channels and Instagram stories, all asking the same question in a form of a poll. Tea or coffee? Each poll was worth one point. I also had a straw poll pinned to the live chat with the same question, but this is worth two points because we asked the live chat to share the poll's link to all of their friends. At the end of the stream, we would check the polls to see which drink got the most points. Besides the polls, we had two games in Rec Room that would be one point each. Player Swap and Guess the Door. That game gave us some challenges, but we'll talk about that later. Before going to the games, we already started putting points on the board. Members in the Film Friends Community Discord server had given themselves a tea or coffee roll. The roll with the most members is one point. I also asked several Rectubers, tea or coffee. The popular selection is also one point. More picked coffee. That's one point for coffee. So we're gonna have to give coffee yes. a point. There we go. And for the Discord server, more people gave themselves the tea roll. So that's one point for tea. Now let's see who got the points in the games. Player Swap is a 1v1 paintball game. But the twist is that every 10 or so seconds, both players would automatically trade places during the game. This really changes the strategy from a normal paintball game. That's not fair. <laughs> Don't stand near your flag then. Hey. Oh, oh, it didn't work. Oh. Hey, wait a minute, how did you already get wait, over wait. there? Red oh! Oh, I actually got you! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, wait, what? Where did the... Where, huh? Where, where, where are you? Oh, oh, oh! Red flag yes! Return. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it really disorients you! This is so confusing. Oh! Red flag taken. Oh, I... Oh, come on! No! No, 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 no! All right, I need to mine. Oh. Red flag taken. Wait a minute, that didn't work? No! No! I saw that! Shoot! I, saw that. I was able to run just in time. I thought that would get you! Shoot, now you're winning! No, 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 no! No! Yes! No! Oh, snap. That's my flag. Red flag ah. dropped. Red flag returned. All right. Oh. Well, time to make us even. Red team there scored. we go. We're even. Game flag oh. <sighs> None game. of us got a point. High game. Oh, I'm on the blue team. Whoa. I'm on the blue team this time. We would play two games to see who would win the point. Due to Dean Boy completely forgetting which team color he was on, pass the point to me. On to guess the door. For this game, we brought in four people. Two to help me represent tea, and two to help Dean Boy represent coffee. Ready, set, go, 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 go. 
right. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's left. <laughs> left. Okay, left again. This is gonna be hard. Right. Oh, what? Guess the door has 35 levels. Each level has two doors, but only one will let you pass. If you pick the wrong one, it sends you back to the start. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, perfect. All three of us represent T. Okay. Okay, now we know. Alright, head over here. Alright, let's try this one. Shoot! You'd only have 10 minutes to clear all the levels before they get shuffled. Then you'd have to forget everything that you had just figured out and start over. No, 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 you're not, Gil. Are you- Not what? Team Coffee started a system using the text chat to help them remember the correct doors. No. I have all the stuff I know typed up. <laughs> Wrong way! Okay, I haven't seen Cal in a while. I feared that coffee would get a point because of this, but what seemed to be out of nowhere... <gasps> Callan! Oh yes! That took two minutes. Not even two minutes. There's no yes! Team T just got a point! But those representing coffee didn't agree with how he won. <gasps> you can throw your camera at the wall. Yes. <laughs> that is it. Oh my goodness! Yeah, that does not you count. just outsmarted everyone! Oh! Game to see oh my that goodness! <laughs> no way! That's funny. So he just w walked right through. That is literally an easy win! We decided to play again but without using the cameras and text. Just your memory. Just wait until right. everyone's ready. Everyone's in. Three, All right. three. Alright, and we go. All go! Right. No, I guess we're going now. Left. Left. I don't. I'm just following the boy. <laughs> oh my goodness. <gasps> oh! oh my goodness. No, I don't. Um. <laughs> oh! Okay, okay, okay. This game turned out to be much harder than I expected. This is so hard. No one was able to clear all the levels by the time 10 minutes was up. So we decided the winner would be the one that went the furthest. Me and Marifaya had 21. So I guess that's a tie, so who was second place? Those representing Coffee had more players that went further. So that's one point for Coffee, putting us at a tie. Throughout the stream, as we played normal games, I would encourage the viewers to vote in the straw poll and to share the link with their friends. I spoke in favor for tea, and Dean Boy got the chance to speak on behalf of coffee. The coffee, there's an art to it, and you just see the videos and stuff. Like, it takes skill to make a good coffee bean. With tea, it's just a no-brainer. It's just mindless. Like, put the leaves out in the sun, let them dry, and that's it. With the coffee, it's, it's a coffee whole tree. Be. The picking, the cleaning, like the roasting process. And then the grinding process of like the maker, it's a lot more, it's a lot more in depth, man. And you, you actually get flavor with tea. What is it? It's why literally just like awful. flavoring in water. I want something stronger. Now, why should I drink coffee? Because you refuse to oh, have for, it, for, for and you say, taste. "Oh, I don't like it. You don't I, like it." But I you haven't even had it. Yeah, I so did have. A, what, remember, have a I did tell you what, when I did taste it. Okay, like maybe when you were like four years old. It was said. nine. I was really nine years. I was like nine years old. <laughs> you don't. You don't even <laughs> have Jada developed gold. taste buds. Okay, bro. Everything tastes bad when you're nine years old. Okay. <laughs> Finally, after promoting the polls and playing the games, the time came to tally up the points. And here we are. Hey guys, we're back in the lounge. Let's be honest, Pasture the superior bike. option. <laughs> water. Let's be close to those here. <laughs> Styles representing water over here. There we go. <laughs> All right, so remember, guys, if you vote tea, that means you want to make Dean Boy drink tea. If you vote coffee, you want to oh, make shoot. me drink coffee. All right, I have for tea, 67% and coffee, 33%, and it was 165 votes. 52% tea, 48% oh. coffee. That was pretty close. 2% two, two oh. percent. Oh, oh man. man. Okay, so that's two points for tea. Well, that, yeah. All right. <laughs> He's just more universal. They're not looking good. They're not looking good. All right. One, two. Two points for T. All right, now I need to pull out my phone for Instagram. 41% T, 59% coffee for Instagram. So that's a point for That's a point, that's for, point coffee. for coffee. Okay. All right, time to go to my Instagram. 
<laughs> wait. Forty-eight percent for tea. Fifty percent for coffee. What? <laughs> what? I'm shocked. Okay, so right now. What's the score right now? Because I'm a little four bit confused. Four points for team tea. Four points for coffee. That's where we're at. Wha Drum what? What? I get some tea. No. I get some tea. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I need to refresh. I need to refresh. It doesn't look right. Whoa. 58%. 58% Team T wins. And 41% coffee. That was close, though. That was a close. Two that points close. for Team T. That was T. close. Oh. Oh, my goodness. That was that close. That was scary. You know why T's better? Because T comes from water. That's why T's better. True. So does coffee. <laughs> um, kind of. A lot mm -hmm. less water. Mm-hmm. You guys voted good. for tea. I guess Team T won. So, <laughs> Dean Boy, are you ready for that? Are you ready to drink some tea? The, like the way I like it. I guess I'm forced to now. <laughs> All right. So with that, Dean Boy, I'll see you in three days. Since T1, I'm going to personally make Dean Boy tea the way I like it. Here's a quick example showing what I use every morning at my house during the winter months. I do make it a little different than how it's normally done. So I'll make two cups of tea to show how I make it and how I think some normal people make it. Now, I don't know how much sugar normal people put in their tea, but I use about a half a tablespoon. Now what really makes me different is I only have the tea bag steep for a few seconds, whereas it is suggested to steep from 3 minutes to 5 minutes. If you also drink tea, share down in the comments how you like to make your tea. As you can see, my preferred cup of tea is really light, but the other has gotten really dark. So basically, as some people put it, I drink lightly flavored sugar water. Now that you see how I make it, let's take my tea bags up to Canada to make a cup for Dean Boy. Now at the Airbnb with Dean Boy, Professor Echo, and Mighty, I'm doing the same routine to make a cup of tea for Dean Boy to drink so he can tell us how he likes it. That's how, that's how I make my black tea, yeah. Okay. Well... It's tea. Mm-hmm. You add sugar to it, right? Yeah, of course. I always do. Not my favorite, but yeah. It's tea. Okay. Now, it sounded positive at first, but later he started having more opinions about the tea. I'm just tasting sugar water and then like at the end, you kind of get the little hint of black leaf. It's just a leaf, right? Aren't all teas just leaf? Not technically. No, some are roots, some are the flowers, some are like the pollen of the flowers, some are just mm. random things together. Plant. It's just a plant taste. So this is what you have every morning. Yep, that's what I have every morning. How does this wake you up? This, this I, you I don't, this I don't do it exactly to, 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 I don't exactly do it to wake me up. Well, we've been having this for a while now, and I've had my tea, so I'm making you try coffee. Let's go to Tim's. Okay, I know what you're thinking. This doesn't make sense. Tea won, he drank your tea. You don't have to go drink coffee since coffee lost. And you're right, but then I would be breaking an old agreement. Long before tea versus coffee, Dean Boy planned to make me try Tim Hortons, his go-to Canadian coffee place, during this meetup. For those who don't know what Tim Hortons is, it's like a Dunkin' Donuts. 
And since he's paying for the coffee for me to try, it would be rude for me to turn him down. So black, so dirt. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna suffer. I'm so sorry. I'm not gonna sleep tonight. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you don't have to have all of them. No, here's the thing. Just like it's black serious. coffee, so you're gonna crash hard. Actually, no, it's been at least two or three hours since you've woken up, so the crash won't actually happen. Because you're... Oh, already up and going and stuff? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> so... It's time for me to try coffee the way Dean Boy likes it. The only thing is it's going to be hot. The drink? Yeah. The thing with these is that they always make it extra hot. I'm kind of scared. Alright, so that's my dark roast black coffee. Dark roast? Dark roast, yeah. That, that means it got roasted a little bit more, so it's a little bit more bitter. It's not going to be too hot. It, I mean, it came fresh so out of the pot, so it's going to be a little so bit hot. Burn. You're used to your tea, right? I actually don't drink it like straight hot. I let it cool. Okay. So I can burn my tongue with this thing. All right. Well. To pop it up, I yeah. guess. I don't go out often, so. Oh, it pushes down. Sweet. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm going to burn myself and then run around in circles. <laughs> Good, huh? It's hot. It's but it, a burning taste. That's well, it's roasted. It's roasted coffee beans. It tastes like burnt juice or just burnt liquid. It's it's roasted. It's dark roast. I don't like this. This is horrible. <laughs> it's coffee. So this is what they say is bitter. Yes. My tongue is now burnt. It is good though, isn't it? No, it is not good. It is bad. This is a really bad drink. I think oh. I'll stick with my tea. Oh, <laughs> fair enough. And I'll stick with my coffee. Is there is there any sugar in this? No, there's no sugar. If it has sugar in it, then it might help with the bitterness. I just don't usually have sugar in my coffee, so. It needs sugar. Like, that's the whole best part about tea is there's sugar in it. Yeah. <laughs> no. Something we both told each other about our tea and coffee was, you don't have to finish it. But Dean Boy finished my tea with ease, so I'm determined to finish this bitter, burning coffee for three reasons. One, he finished the tea, so I should finish the coffee. Second, I would now have an argument against coffee since I had a full cup, though it was a small. And thirdly, I don't want to waste. It took the entire tour of a mall for me to drink this coffee. After about three hours of trying to drink this. Yes, it got cold, but it's done. Now I can go home feeling accomplished. It took planning, a live stream, traveling, recording, scripting, and so many hours and editing to make this video. So if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and share it with a friend. If you would like to support my work, then you can become a channel member, or if you want to freely support me, go to my Rec Room profile and press support. Or you can do it faster by clicking my RecNet link in the description to press the support button there. And after all of that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. The roads we travel, the journey of our lives. Take another picture before we say goodbye. Arm in arm, we're standing, standing side by side. Memories fade, but legends never die. While we wait, can I tell oh, you guys about Kiwi oh, Design? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Kiwi Design has two headphones in their online store that you can get for your Quest 2. What's the difference between them, and which one should you get? But before I jump into it, since I'll be talking more about their differences, I won't be getting technical about their material and sound quality since they will be the same. So with that, let's get started. 
First off, one obvious difference is that one is connected to a head strap and the other one is a clip-on. That difference can help determine which one you would want to get. And that is if you need a new head strap or not. If you have just the fabric strap that came with the Quest 2, then the clip-on headphones will obviously not work for you. So you would want to get the audio head strap. But if you already have a good head strap that you like, then go for the attachable headphones. Just make sure that they can attach to the head strap. Now let's go back to comparing the headphones differences and I will also point out some similarities. There are four ways that you can adjust these headphones for them to rest comfortably on your ears. Both of the headphones adjust the same in three ways but are different on the fourth. Both the clip-on headphones and the audio strap headphones slide up and down to reach your ear. Both can move to point in any direction so it can rest in a comfortable position on your ear. And thirdly for further adjustment you can rotate the whole headphone arm. For the fourth adjustment is where they are different. For if someone were to walk into your VR space in real life and want to talk to you, with the clip-on headphones you can pull them out and they will hold out for you. Whereas for the audio head strap can be pulled out, but they will fall back into place if you let go. I personally like the fact that the clip-ons can hold its place when pulled out. But if someone were to talk to me in real life and I'm wearing the audio head strap, then I can just hold it out or rotate it to the side of the strap. The last difference that I like to point out is since the clip-ons are well attachable, you can place them anywhere on your head strap. But the headphones on the audio head strap are locked in one spot. This isn't a big deal since there are already plenty of ways to adjust them to your liking but it could also be found to be a little more customizable for your personal preference. There isn't much more to say about these, but to encourage some cord management. Kiwi Design's cords can be a bit long. To help keep them under control, they send a fasten strap with a clip-on headphones to strap down the cords. But Kiwi Design also has this great cable clip to attach to your head strap for you to set the cord in so it's not flopping around while you play VR. But these usually come with their other products. And that concludes this video. If you are interested in getting yourself the clip-on headphones or the audio head strap, I have Kiwi Design's online store link down in the description. I'm Energetic Ruth, and if you find this video helpful, then please leave a like. And with that, thank you for watching.